Hey there you guys, so today is the day right before our trip tomorrow, our hike and uh, I just wanted to make this short video to give you guys a few tips so that you can make this the best trip as it can be. At least these are some of the things that I am going to use myself and I'm hoping that these are useful for everyone else. The best recommendation that I can give you is to get there during golden hour. Golden hour happens twice a day, one in the morning right after sunrise and one in the afternoon right before sunset. This, however, might not be applicable every single time, especially not in a city such as San Francisco. If you don't know, this city gets a lot of fog and sometimes it can just ruin days where you want to see something and it's not possible because it's completely covered in fog. One anecdote I can give you guys is that the first time I ever came to San Francisco, I was not even able to see the Golden Gate Bridge just because it was covered covered and uh, yeah bad luck. For me some of the important things are of course layers of clothing. I'm myself taking this jacket right here that I always use. I am also taking this windbreaker. This is really cool. It's really thin and uh, yeah it's a great for layering. And lastly I'm taking this beanie right here which I love. I love the colors and everything and I can put it on, put it in my backpack, whatever I want. I would also recommend you guys to take a few snacks just so you you know there's no Starbucks or anything like that at the top of Slackers Hill so just be warned and the last thing that we're gonna talk about today is how to get there you're definitely gonna need a car it's not super close uh, to the city of San Francisco so yeah um, I don't know if Uber even takes you there it might take you there but then coming back that'll be the challenging part so you're gonna need a car you're gonna need to rent one or you're gonna have to bring your own I will be renting a car via get around which is a car sharing app. This is not sponsored whatsoever. There's a lot of these car sharing apps out there. So do your research. The only reason why I'm doing get around is because I've done it in the past and I've had no issues. And just like that, you guys, we're ready. We're prepared for tomorrow. The only thing left to do really is to get a good night's sleep. Uh, so we'll be doing that. So uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, good morning. Right now we're on our way to get our rental car. We only have a few more blocks, I think just like three or four, and we'll be there, you guys. So we found the car right here. We finished the inspection. That is something else that you have to do. Without further ado, let's go. We just made it here to the parking lot as you can see right behind me. This is not a super huge parking lot as you can see there's limited spaces. I think people can park like uh, in parallel over there but I'm not too sure and there's only like 15 spaces here in this area. Here is another view of the parking lot as you can see it's not that big. This parking lot is very convenient. As you can see, it's close to multiple uh, trailheads. There's another one over here, and there's some more over that way over there. The fog is gonna be an issue, I think. I'm sure you were able to see or not see 
the Golden Gate Bridge as we were coming up here. But yeah, it's a it's a cloudy day. As I said yesterday, this is something that you can't really plan for. The weather can be really unpredictable. And uh, I was saying that we came here later so that we could be in the sun. And there's sun, but there's still a lot of fog on the way. I don't know how the view is going to be, but hopefully it's going to be good. Hopefully we can see just a little bit of the bridge. Okay, so I'm checking my phone and I don't see anything where it says uh, coastal trail which is what it says here on Google but I see this one that takes you in that general direction which is where we I think want to go so we're gonna take this trail right here so this is uh, definitely a shorter hike um, so it's perfect if you want some views but you don't want to get too tired uh, do bring like comfortable shoes and stuff because we are going up and it's only dirt and rocks so you're going to get to this point where there's two trails as you can see this one is the SCA trail and this one over here is this lacquer ridge which is a viewpoint and uh, according to Google Maps this is the one we have to take so let's continue guys you can actually see the fog coming in does this mean we'll be able to see the bridge I don't know over here where we're coming from it's so foggy that you can't see anything check this out it's so weird but as soon as you turn over here blue sky I can't stress it enough you guys the weather here is wild I can already see the Golden Gate let me show you that is the Golden Gate Bridge or at least one of the top sections and it's super interesting because the fog is just like going really fast the wind is it's really strong right now so uh, you get times where like it covers the bridge and the city over there you can see downtown so this right here is the summit of Slackers Hill as you can see there's not a lot of people maybe because of the weather or whatnot not a lot to see up here I think reason why people and all us included make their way here is to try and get some shots of the group. So let's try to do that let's be patient and raise our chance. right now but uh, I think we got the best views that we were able to get uh, unfortunately the fog was all over the place which is expected but also expected that's what we plan to get here at this time and as you can see there's a lot of sun but the fog is just going ham and uh, a funny thing is that like the bridge would peak out of the fog and then you would get something really cool like a really cool shot and then like two seconds after that it would be completely covered again and just like that, you guys, we made it back to the parking lot right here. All right, everyone. So I had more footage recorded at the top of the hill and here at the parking lot saying goodbye, but the wind was so crazy that it ruined the audio. Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time and watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more interesting travel videos just like this one. And just a reminder, always remember to be kind, have an open mind, I'll see you next time.